Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my next play of Nebulous. Um, this is another game made by KOA Angel at RMN. Uh, he, I think this was made um, only a couple of years ago, uh, but like I said in some of my other videos, this uh, better explains Pogo and uh, his race of people on the other, uh, on the planet of Aqua Nebula. Um, so anyway, I think, I didn't play this yet, so this is kind of a blind playthrough. I think, um, it's, it's a science scrolling shoot 'em up uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I think we should just jump in and try it out. <coughs> game approved for all audiences by the Game Association of Nebula, PG. Parental guidance suggested this game contains ex explicit violence against fish. Do not play if you... If your aquarium has line of sight of your to your PC screen, may harm your goldfish's mental health. Thank you. That was that was cute and nice. So Knights of Apocalypse. Uh, okay, that's, that's that's a nice little intro. Pika though. Yeah, I I like his um, his his style with uh, the artwork. Uh, it seems to me that that stuff. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. Uh, we're gonna show the intro. I don't even know what it looks like. So this game is dedicated to the following persons: GS and SOS. Uh, I don't know them uh, for what they have done for the German RPG maker community. All right, yeah. Again, he's German. It's his first language, but uh, uh, when he's talked to me, or at least he's sent me messages, that the the English is quite clear. So, um, yeah. So it looks like we're going underwater. Um, Beale City. Can't really hear much. Hold on a second. There we go. Sorry for that beep. I was turning up the the sound. This sounds like the uh, the sounds a little bit more balanced with uh, whatever th everything else is going on. I can adjust it later anyway. So anyway, Nebula City, a peaceful place at the bottom of the sea. Till one day. So it looks like they're being attacked by something or other. Some kind of weird submarine. We have reached Nebula City, sir. We are ready for attack. Excellent. Deploy our forces and catch all Nebula you can find. And bring me the princess. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry. My voice acting is probably going to be horrendous. I figured I'd give it a shot, because there's probably not a whole lot of dialogue, so we'll go for it. And it'll probably change as we as we go along, because uh, I'm just making these up on the fly. So those, those guys are uh, uh, Nebulons, I believe, and they are being caught, captured, and taken away by weird octopus people. I suppose that's the princess uh, that was from Chocobo Panic's face. Princess Zilphus, welcome to my little residence. Okay. Oh, man, that guy got beat up. Long time no see. Dr. Octo, I should have known. You, uh, you are behind all of this. Why don't you just leave us alone? Oh, I really don't care about your little kingdom. As you can see, I have built my own army with loyal members and a large fleet. But our ships need energy. If you need energy crystals, just take them and go. But set my people free. Energy crystals would be useful, but only for a short time. But if we... 
we had zodiac spheres. Those spheres supply our cities with all energy you need for ages, right? Oh, your city. The font's a little hard to read for me, I don't know why. With an energy resource like that, my fleet would be unbeatable. Unfortunately, the nebula are the only ones who know the secret how to combine energy crystals into zodiac spheres. Tell me the secret of the zodiac spheres, and I will think of setting the nebula free. You would use this knowledge only to destroy. I will never tell you the secret. Oh? You will, you will tell me the secret, my dear princess. Be assured, you will. Wow, he's still getting closer. I like this music. It is, it is quite epic. Um, yeah, there's... One way I usually gauge the, um... The size of a game is by the number of maps that comes with it, especially with RPG Maker 2000 and 2003. Um, and there's quite a few maps. There's a little over 100, maybe closer to 150. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how long this game is. I probably won't get... Whoa. That was, that was in the game. I thought that was in real life. Uh, <laughs> I like this guy's sense of humor. It's, uh, it's cute, but, uh, it's funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, this probably won't get done in time for the, uh, event that I talked about in my last video with Chocobo Panic Christmas. But, uh, I figured I'd at least start it because it looks like a fun game. And there goes another beat from my oven. Hey, Pogo! Don't be that lazy. Wanna join us? Sure thing. I don't know what kind of voice Pogo would have. Okay, I have located the target. I need to get a, a little bit closer. Yay! Pogo's a perv! Ouch! <laughs> that bush over there just say ouch? Hmm, let's check it out. So where's, where's the one without the bikini? I guess it's being censored. Oh. Uh, Grandpa, what are you doing here? What the hell is that? No, no, I found it. Hold on, let me get my grandpa voice. What the hell was that? An unidentified flying object hit me straight in the face. Oh, okay, girls. Let's help them up. What's up, old man? Luki sent me to find you. Find me? Why? You have no idea what happened while you spent your vacation on this island, right? Hmm, well, let me guess. Did Luki pop away his lab again? No, moron. Nebula City was was being attacked by Dr. Octo. He's back uh, and has put all Nebula in prison and has the princess as hostage. Only a few of us escaped and we are hiding in Loki Loki's lab. I'm here to catch catch you up. We want to strike back and free everyone. Excuse me, please. As well <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why it's making me laugh so hard. As it will take you some time to discuss this matter, may I please have my bikini top back? <laughs> oh, of course, miss. Thank you. See you later, guys. Bye, Pogo. Bye, strange old man. But, but, stop staring, let's go. Thank you for ruining my vacation. It was a pleasure, now hurry. Move your feet, there is no time to waste. Where's your boat? 
I didn't come here in a boat. You mean we have to walk all the way back to Nebula City? You silly old man. You're a dumbass. I told Lu Luki I could pilot it myself, but he said my reflexes are too bad. Oh, I bet... I bet mine are better than yours. I can't believe this. What are you talking about? Pilot what? Pilot this! Holy crap, that thing is huge. This is Luki's newest invention. The Nebulous One prototype. It's called a submarine. Whoa. It's quite a sad little whoa. Jump in, I show you how it works. So yeah, his his English isn't the best, but uh, I forgive him. It's it's definitely uh, intelligible. I honestly have no idea what to expect, guys. So uh, if I if I crash and burn for no reason, I'm sorry. So where do we go now? Back to Luki's hideout. From there, we will start our mission. What mission? Save the nebula and rescue Princess Sil Selfus. Oh yeah, that mission. I, I guess it'll be fun. Fun's got nothing to do with it. This is a serious task. We are the only hope for the prisoners. By the way, we could use the time for a little, a uh, little training. You must learn to pilot the sub. What do you think? Start the tutorial. Uh, oh yeah, start the tutorial. I definitely need training. I have no idea what I'm doing. So. There we go, we just popped in. So yeah, I guess I was right. Uh, okay, here we go. Use the direction buttons to move the submarine around. And apparently enter shoots torpedoes. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Watch out, Dr. Octo has sent out lots of enemies. Use the enter or control uh, keys to fire torpedoes at them. We. Yeah. Ah, I'm not going for that guy. For every killed enemy, you get five points. Your current points are shown in the upper right of the screen. In the upper left uh, corner, your lives, your lives are displayed. If you get hit by an enemy or collide with the ground, you will lose a life and be teleported to the last checkpoint. If your life counter reaches zero, you will teleport out of the stage and have to restart it again. So, dying's a bad thing. Wow, these are really precise. Pretty little forgiveness. Collect energy crystals on your way. In each stage, you will find ten yellow crystals, five red crystals, and one green crystal. I'm tempted to go up there, but, uh, I'll wait. Oh, it's got a little counter. I love the counters. I can move a little bit faster. So I got the one green crystal. Green crystals are done! Okay, I th think yeah, I can go through that. Dr. Octo has put all Nebula into cages. To free them, simply pick up the cages. There are five cages in every stage. So... Hooray! Come on. Oh, prisoner rescue is what I'd say. Collect one-ups uh, to get an extra life. You can have up to nine lives. Whenever you start a stage, you have less, less than three lives left, uh, and have less than three lives left. Your life pool will be stocked up to the minimum of three lives. So it sounds like uh, every level. Ow! Oh, it's ballsy, but I thought I'd try it. So yeah, every time you start a level, you get uh, you get three lives back no matter how many you start ended with, and uh, you can have more than that, but you have to earn them. Yeah. I'm not the best at side-scrolling shoot 'em ups um, Hopefully you can upgrade your speed a little bit, because this is a little slow. Uh, and it's I'm going the same speed as the enemies. I can only go the same speed as the enemies backwards as they're going forwards, so it's a little bit uh, difficult to manage that. But again, I did not practice this this much, so or I didn't practice it at all. What am I talking about? 
So, yeah, it's I'm kind of starting this completely blind. Um, I don't know what counts at the top of my ship. I'm a little, little worried. Uh, let's snag this before. One up, pray. Boom. Uh, you can use torpedoes to destroy breakable walls or activate switches. Oh, well, I figured that was a switch. Ah, oh, come on! No, grab it! I want it! Damn it! Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, I'm also gonna try to lift my, uh, swearing thing up a little bit. Um, it's considering this game's using some foul language, so I figure I can loosen up a bit. Oh, there goes my oven again. Shut up! Alright. At the end of a stage, you will get a percent rating. Depending on how many crystals and cages you have picked up. There is also a minimum score for each stage, which is worth 10% points, if you, have if you have received it. But, that's all, that's all you have to know for now. We have reached Luki's lab anyway. Uh, so, okay, it looks like we didn't really have to rescue the five people or whatever. So we're going into Luki's laboratory. Uh, as soon as I get a chance to uh, stop, I'm going to stop. Welcome, Pogo! It's good to have you here. I still don't think he's a good choice. What we need is a real hero. Someone who will fight his way through the enemy forces. Oh, Grandpa's voice is killing me. Someone who kills everything that gets, gets in his way. We have to kick their asses. Wipe them out. Destroy them. Annihilate. Blast them away. Destroy. Destroy. Kill all. Kill. 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 Oh, man. Oh. Man, you really need some kind of anti-aggression therapy. You know that? Well, don't worry about the enemies. The submarine systems are idiot-proof. Okay, okay, I get it. I have to shoot everything that gets in the way. But what shall I do when I'm finally facing Dr. Octo? Loves commas. They don't, they don't need to be all over the place. For once in your life, use your brain. <laughs> so it seems Pogo is kind of the uh, uh, dumb but lovable hero. And, uh, yeah. Um, I think we get the point. <laughs> well, I have no idea. See, Loki? If you make something idiot-proof, I will find an idiot, a better idiot. I couldn't work like that. If you're searching for me, I'm at home working on tactics. So where should I start? I have reactivated an old teleport network system, which you can use to enter the battle stages. Unfortunately, some warp doors are locked up, so you have to find the fitting keys first. Only one area is accessible at the moment, so you should start your mission there. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, I just went to the menu. Save game, finally. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna stop here. I went a little bit longer than I normally like to go, but... Uh, anyway, this is Oblik with Let's Play Nebulous Part 1. My blind run. Uh, I'll see you next time.